Hi, I'm just going to show you how to uh, make a or make record a script using a PaintShop Pro. I have PaintShop Pro X5. It works the same way in just about every version of PaintShop Pro. Um, I've opened a picture. I've made a copy because I don't like to work on the background copy, the original, ever. Always work on a copy when you can. First of all, let's find the scripts toolbar. Go to View, Toolbars, Script. Let me get this long thing here. And uh, you can make it shorter. You'll notice you have the double arrows. It's in a couple of sections. The first thing on the left, you have a list of all of your scripts that you have in here. I probably have more than you have because I have a lot of these scripts already running. And next thing, next section is to play a script you already have. So you use the drop down, select a script, and then play it. This middle section, I've never figured out what it is. It's a run script and a stop script. But I don't know what it does. But this section on the right is the most important. It's record a script. You've got the big red record button. The two blue bar pause button, the big red X. Oh, I messed up. Cancel this script recording. And then the save, which you will click on when you've finished your script. If you're looking for stop or something, this is it. Okay, you finish your script, you click on the save icon. So let's start. I'm going to record just a simple script, and then we're going to batch process a couple of um, uh, photos that I've already selected. So you just click this to start recording. First thing I want to do is make some adjustments to this. So I'm going to go to adjust, brightness and contrast, do a levels on it, and we'll brighten it up quite a bit so you can see this middle section and play fiddle around with the contrast also. There we go. Okay, I don't have to do anything with the colors. I want to make a copy of it and then work on the copy. I'm going to turn the copy black and white using effects, photo effects, black and white film. And I've already been playing with this a little bit here. Let's turn the brightness down a little bit. I'll clarify. Here we go. I want it darker. I want more contrast to show up. And I ain't doing it, is it? Now you're lucky. With X6, you've got a 64 bit program. I'm using X5, which is still a 32 bit program. So it tends to lag over a little bit. Let's put it right in the middle and see what we get. Okay, that's better. That's what I wanted. Okay, click OK on that. And then we want to use another effect here, a plugin. I'm going to use one of my Redfield plugins, my Sharpian, to turn this into a. Let's take the radius down and take the radius up. Put this up. I want to make it really contrasty. And click OK. Now we're going to have to wait for the little green bar right here. You see the way down in the middle to move across. And it'll go across. The first time takes quite a bit of time. And the last time just zip zap. So this is, uh, if you got the new PaintShop Pro X6, you got a 64 bit program. And this probably goes along. You're probably also hearing my fan working because this, uh, my. 64-bit machine with a 32-bit program kicks into turbo boosts when the load is put on it like this. So please excuse hearing my fan whirling around down there. We're almost finished. There we go. And the last one. Done. Now I want to change my... Uh, you can use some of these... I'm going to change the mode to overlay, and that's much too bright. So I'm going to click back in the layers panel on the color copy. 
and I'm a little, a little worried about opacity. There we go. And I might want to brighten this up a little bit. The colors are a little too muted to me. So let's do, I'm just going to use this guy. Bring out the reds, bring out the greens, bring out the blues just a little bit. And I'm done. So I'm going to come back to my script bar. I'm going to click save. I'm going to give my script a name. You can see I practiced this a couple of times. It's going to go in my scripts restricted folder and my documents in the Braille Paint Shop Pro folder. This one we call script. And I'm just going to leave these things check marked. Remove undo commands is especially good. And I'm going to save it. And if we go back. We'll take it all the way back to the original one. There it is. Then I'm going to got my script two up there. I'm going to run it. And you're going to see when you run it in just single uh, flower mode. Notice there's a difference. All you have to do is click OK unless you want to make some other changes on it. Just click OK and go through it. Then you have to wait again for the green bar to come across. Oh, here, let me pause. Okay, we're back. I paused it. You just click OK. So when those dialogs come up, they're your last settings. So you just, you know, unless you want to make some different uh, changes to them, just click OK on every dialog that pops up, and there you're done. So that's how... That's how running a script this way works. Now I'm going to close the script bar. I'm going to close my sunflower. And we're going to come up here to File, Batch Process. For some reason, this is up here. Click on it, Remove from List. I'm going to browse for my set of flowers and things I have. I'm going to, oh, let me show you how I did that. Click on the first one, hold down the Shift key, and click on the last one and then they all select now I want to use a script by default use a script is unchecked so check on it also well let's go here you want to go down here you want to find your script too that you just made now silent mode we have all these dialogues popping up that you have to click OK on silent mode eliminates that so if you have a simple script like this and you don't want to make any kind of changes in any of the dialogues to any specific ones, always run in silent mode. Next, save mode. Always use copy. You don't want to overwrite your originals unless you want to kiss them goodbye forever. New type, if you check mark it, you'll notice the type becomes active, is bold. And that's like if you're working with GIFs or... Uh, bitmaps or some other type of file and you want to convert it as part of this process but we don't want to we just want to use the copy now a folder I made a separate folder you do not want to ever save your uh, batch processed photos along with your originals because it just gets too confusing so always make a separate folder for them before you begin this process and just browse for it and put it in here. New file name, yes. Modify, I've already selected by sequence, which is numbers. Starting at 0, 1, 2, whatever. You can do it by date, by, the, by changing the document name. Okay. You can put an all upper, all lower, or something like that. If you don't like it, click remove. Okay. So I'm just going to use sequence. 01, 02, 03, 04. And you can have more than one. I could change the name and put the sequence. We'll just leave that for now. So we've got everything ready to run. And what you'll do is just click Start. And then you just have to sit back and watch the thing work. It's running through each one. Two of six. You'll notice your job progress goes along. You'll also notice my fan is running again. 
And these are only, what, six files? And I did two or three things to them, so the job process is a little slower. The more complicated the editing you're doing to a photo, the longer the batch processing takes. Also, the better the computer you have, the shorter the best. Now, I have an i7 with 8 gigabytes of RAM and everything else going for it. And you can see this is still not a short process. Let me pause it here while I get through some of this. Okay, it's finished up. Shall we see what it did to my... Um, There they all are, all changed. We can run through them. Now the script is applied to all these pictures of flowers I had on here. See? And that's how that works. And, uh, you know, it's fun. It's not as hard to make scripts as, as it can be. And like I said, uh, when it comes to batch processing, the more muscle your computer has, the easier batch processing works. But making a script, if you're doing the same thing to the two, uh, to your photographs, time after time after time, it just is a lot easier to make and save a script to do it.